Oh, back now on uh, Try It Today, I was just looking at this book. It's called Dread and Delight. It's my life story. No, not really. It's, uh, this, is, this is by Lovey Lavey. Emily Staley is with us, and, uh, and she's not here to, she didn't come here to hawk the book, but I'm just going to mention it anyway, and I think we have a graphic of it up on the screen. Next to me, Emily Staley. She's curator of exhibitions at UNCG's Weatherspoon Art Museum. I, I'm just going to go ahead and ask you real quick before we get into the exhibits. What is this book about, very quickly? It is about artists who have looked at classical fairy tales, so I think Cinderella, Snow White, Little Red Riding Hood, ones that you know, right. and update them or taken them apart in a way that looks at our life today. So they're doing art based on their interpretations of the old fairy tale. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And all sorts of art. All sorts of art. That's interesting. All right. Now, uh, very quickly, describe your role as curator. Some people will wonder what that title means and what, what do you do? So I get the best job in the world. I get to research art and pick out what's going to go in the galleries oh, and neat. then write the labels that you see on the wall with it, write the books that go with it, and put it all together. You know, UNCG, and I'm a, a mom's of UNCG too, you know, a lot of times we used to say that, that uh, the general public doesn't really understand how great Weatherspoon is and, and because maybe some people think it's just for students and faculty because, you know, some things are restricted and you have to be a member of a faculty, whatever. But that's not so with Weatherspoon. No, we are open to everybody. So we're there for faculty and students, but we're there for the community too. We're on the edge of campus. We've even got free parking, and we are open Tuesday through Sunday free always. I just think that's great. All right, now let's get to it because this sort of ties in with the Dread and Delight book, and that is this fairy tale exhibit that you guys email me about. Tell me about that. So it, same title as the book, Dread and Delight, Fairy Tales in an Anxious World. There are seven different stories in the show, all by the Brothers Grimm, and then all kinds of different art. So sculptures, paintings, photographs, video. Um, one of our sort of showstopper pieces is a nearly life-size Cinderella carriage. Oh, see, now I want folks at home to see this. Instead of us just talking about it, I want you to watch some footage, some music behind it. And these are people putting together the carriage, Cinderella's carriage exhibit, and it's made of what, rock candy? Covered in crystallized rock candy. Okay, watch, watch them put together. That's just fascinating footage to see that, that put together. I, you know, but I know you probably spend millions of dollars on security. You don't want people stealing artwork. Do you, are you afraid somebody's going to come in and start eating these exhibits? We, we've got a nice big riser underneath it and some stanchions out around there. So we're going <laughs> to yeah, try so and keep everyone at bay. You can't eat rock candy on that. Yeah. That's just fascinating. Now, is there a, an admission charge to Weatherspoon? I've been, been to some big galleries around the country. Sometimes you walk in, you get in for free, but then they'll have a certain exhibit that you have to pay for or whatever. Nope. Walk just, right in. Just walk in. Uh, I want to, uh, I'm just curious, what attracted you to this field? I mean, we didn't rehearse this or anything, but what, I know you said you came from Washington State. What attracted you to want to work in this field? You know, I've loved art since I was a little kid, um, and I figured out very early on I wasn't any good at making it. <laughs> you can't, that's like me. My dad was an artist, but I can't draw a straight line with a ruler, so. Right. But I can read about it and learn about it and then share that with other people. And that's you should have a good thing. eye for it. I mean, if you didn't, you wouldn't obviously. I mean, here we have this book, which I'm going to go ahead and plug again on screen. We have that graphic on there, Dread and Delight. It's just a great book. I want you to get it. You go to the museum and get it. And as Emily said, you, you know, we were talking off camera, you can get it online, but don't, don't do that. Go into the museum and get it. And you'll even sign it for them, right? Sure. Okay, that's good. Absolutely. Up on screen. Uh, the information I want you to see is www.weatherspoon.uncg.edu. And for the radio listening audience, I'll say it again, weatherspoon.uncg.edu. It will tell you all about what's going on at Weatherspoon Art Museum. I'm just so proud of you and what you're doing, and it's a fascinating job. Thank you. Yeah, good luck with everything. Thanks so much. Don't let anybody eat that carriage. 
we won't. Yeah. All right, Dread and Delight. Look at this, is great. Go to the museum. We'll be right back after this.